epic Ramayana is closely connected to the nature. Ramayana contains many references to natural elements like forests, mountains, etc. Come, let us explore together. Mount Chitrakuta According to the epic Ramayana, Chitrakut is a mountain and also a forest. Bharat, brother of Lord Rama, visited Chitrakut and requested him to return to Ayodhya and be the king. Chitrakut is a place of refuge and spiritual solace in the middle of the challenges of exile. Mount Rishyamukha Mount Rishyamukha is Sugriva's hiding place. Here, Hanuman is disguised, meets Rama and Lakshmana. Hanuman brings Rama and Lakshmana to Sugriva to form their alliance. Mount Trikuta In Lanka, Hanuman finds Sita captive on Mount Trikuta. Rama is filled with hope when Hanuman gives Sita's ring to him. Mount Mainaka While flying to Lanka, Hanuman is offered respite by Mount Mainaka. Hanuman takes rest on Mount Mainaka and resumes his flight. While Indra was cutting off the wings of mountains, Vayu God saved Mount Mainaka in the ocean. Mainak Parvat symbolizes the support of unexpected allies. Mount Malaya The mountain Malaya is also known as Mount Ayumukha. Malaya has wonderful peaks and is rich in ores. This mountain is full of sandalwood trees and looks colorful with the forest in bloom. It is believed that Sage Agastya lived here. Mount Prasravana One of the peaks of a Malayavan hill is called Prasravan and it is said to be located near present day Hampi. Sri Ram had spent four months on a hilltop called Prasravana and after getting the information about the where Sita is, he had proceeded for Lanka from this place. Mount Mahendra Sage Agastya has set up a glorious golden mountain, Mahendra, filled with colorful trees. It stretches into the sea. Mount Rishabha In the midst of that ocean stands a majestic white mountain named Rishabha, surrounded by trees filled with silver flowers emitting wonderful fragrance. You have watched all the videos in the playlist Ramayana Biodiversity. The links to all the videos are given below in the description. Do you know of any other animals, birds, trees in the Ramayana? Yes, please write down in the comments below.